Textil Concepts, over 40 years of high technology specialty flooring solutions. Euroflex ESD Conductive Sheet and Tile Vinyl Flooring is available in five standard colors. Clean white, light gray, dark gray, electronic blue, and charcoal black. In this video, the old floor covering has been removed. The old adhesive has been removed. Moisture testing has confirmed that the substrate is ready to receive the adhesive and flooring. The substrate imperfections have been repaired. The substrate has been skim coated. The substrate is smooth, flat, and dry. The flooring and adhesive were acclimated in the area for 48 hours prior to installation. The subfloor should be vacuumed thoroughly to remove any debris or dust. This is important to ensure a proper bond to the subfloor. It also prevents debris from becoming trapped under the new flooring that may telegraph to the surface of the new flooring. ESD conductive sheet vinyl requires a copper circuit to be installed around the perimeter of the room. Measure 12 inches from the walls and make guide marks on the subfloor. These guide marks will be used for installing the copper tape around the perimeter of the room. Install the copper tape along the previously created guide marks. Run the copper tape the length on each wall. Press down firmly. Overlap the copper tape at each corner. Continue this process until you have the copper tape installed around the full perimeter of the room. Locate the center of the room and make guide marks. Install copper tape along the guide marks. Large rooms require that copper tape be placed across the room every 20 feet. For smaller rooms, simply find the center of the room and install the copper tape. Once finished installing the copper tape, quickly recheck the circuit that you just created. Make sure that the copper tape overlaps at the points of intersection. Also, make sure that it goes across the room and connects at each side. Grounding points and methods should be discussed and predetermined before beginning the flooring installation. This installation will be grounded at AC electrical outlets. A guide mark is created starting at the center of the outlet and continued down to the subfloor. Strip off more than enough copper tape to go from the outlet to the completed circuit on the subfloor. Apply the copper tape to the floor overlapping the completed circuit and up to the grounding point.
temporarily secure the excess copper tape up out of the way while you proceed with the installation of the flooring. Roll the copper tape to make sure it is firmly bonded to the subfloor. Roll out the previously acclimated flooring face down. Then flip it over and adjust it to the room. The sheet vinyl will have a memory from being rolled. This is known as end curl. The end curl should be dealt with before adhering to the subfloor. Massage the flooring at an angle to break the memory. A hot air gun can be helpful in this process. In this installation, the material will be double cut at the seams. Place a guide mark along the flooring edge to ensure that the overlap is straight. The edges may also be removed using a scribe. Overlap the material using the guide marks. Using a straight edge and a utility knife, double cut the material. Be careful not to cut the copper tape circuit below. Remove the trimmed material. Placing painter's tape at various points along the double cut seams will help to realign the material later in the installation. Roll back the sheet vinyl from one side of the room. Using the correct trowel, apply the adhesive to the subfloor. Trowel the adhesive over the copper tape circuit, being careful not to tear the copper tape. Carefully follow the directions with your conductive adhesive. Allow the adhesive to flash before laying the sheet vinyl. Do not lay the sheet vinyl into wet adhesive. Flash time will vary. Roll the sheet vinyl on top of the flashed adhesive. Peel back small sections to confirm that the adhesive is transferring to the back of the sheet vinyl. Using a smoother, rub across the width of the material to remove any air bubbles. 
immediately roll across the width of the floor using a 100 pound roller. Then roll the length of the room using the 100 pound roller. After approximately 20 minutes, the rolling process must be repeated to confirm a good strong bond. Now, repeat the process for the other side of the room. After waiting for at least 24 hours, the seams will be ready to be grooved and heat welded. Use excess sheet vinyl to adjust settings for the groover and the heat welder prior to working on the installed area. After the welding rod has cooled, the welding rod can then be trimmed flush to the floor. Always trim in two passes. Trimmed welds should be glazed. ESD floorings must be grounded to be effective. The grounding process can vary by installation and local building codes. A certified electrical professional should be consulted regarding this process. The wall base can now be installed. If you like unique flooring solutions and installation techniques, be sure to like and subscribe.